I was raised mostly by my mother and my three older sisters, <clears throat> I did get to spend periods of time with my father after my mom and dad split up <clears throat> when I was about three, which would have been around 1969 or so. Um, my mother moved away from the Los Angeles area. <clears throat> my dad remained there, so... Uh, but on occasion, my mom would send me back uh, to be with my dad. Uh, I guess when she felt overwhelmed or like I was getting out of control and I needed a a father influence or something she would uh, I don't know how much of it was that probably more she just felt out of control and overwhelmed that she uh, needed a break or something so she would send me to Los Angeles <clears throat> which for me was really kind of exciting uh, you know, it meant that I got to fly on the big airplane, which, um, you know, little kids back then, uh, you could put your little kid on an airplane, and uh, as long as there was someone there to pick him up when he got off the airplane. So I got to fly on airplanes uh, beginning at a very young age and kind of by myself, and it made me feel like I was a big boy or whatever, you know. Got my little plastic TWA wings. And, uh, and after, you know, I did it the first time after that, it seemed kind of common, and I was, you know, kind of sort of used to it. So, uh, I didn't think much of it, really. Nowadays, uh, I think you have to pay for a chaperone if you can't be there with your child on the plane, and it's like an additional charge or something. I know it's, I don't know what the rules are nowadays, but I know it's different. Hell, back then they would serve me beer if I asked them to. Well, maybe not when I was five, but, you know, you get the idea. Well, there's actually a fair amount of people on the plaza here. Considering... Considering we're still in the middle of a pandemic. A lot of them aren't wearing masks, either. Take a really big number of them aren't wearing masks. Kind of strange. I wonder how many of these people are tourists. It doesn't seem like we have a lot of tourists in the middle of a pandemic either. Maybe they feel like it's safer here than wherever they came from. But yeah, the world sure has changed a lot since I was a little kid. Santa Fe's changed a lot. It's definitely a different town than the one I grew up in. Our society's changed. It's, uh, more gentrified. We don't have any, uh, we don't see any dangerous looking drunks roaming the streets anymore. I liked it better in the 70s and 80s when we often had dangerous looking drunks roaming the streets. Life 
was a little more exciting or whatever. It was just, uh, more fun. Things were more fun. Yep, yeah, I'm surprised to see this many people out. many without masks.